Online banking is the norm today. It's convenient to check your balance and pay a bill online. Your bank probably offers an app to make things even easier. But the technology designed to make your life easier is also making it easier for hackers. A new attack strategy is targeting banking apps and tricking you into handing over your login. I'm Keetron Evans. Let's talk about apps and traps. Picture this, you get a text message saying that your banking app is out of date and you need to install a new version. You know that keeping your software updated is important for security, so you download it. And that's where the trouble begins. The first time you enter your credentials into the new app, you've just handed over your banking information to a hacker. But how did they manage to get a malicious app onto your smartphone? Your phone has options to disallow third-party app installation. A random app from a random hacker should have been blocked. The trick here lies in the different types of apps. Hackers are exploiting an app type called PWA. PWA stands for Progressive Web Application. This is an app built with web technologies like JavaScript. It's essentially a website that's bundled like an app. However, your banking app is likely a native app. That's an app built in a specific language for a specific platform. For example, someone building an app for iOS may use Swift, which is intended for that platform. PWAs have their uses. They're easier to code than native apps, and they make services available to people who may not otherwise have the latest smartphones. Giant sites like Uber, Pinterest, and others offer PWA versions of their apps. Hackers can easily build PWAs that look like your real banking app. Some even buy ad space, create phony versions of banking sites, prompting you to download their fake app. And that app steals your banking information. Fortunately, this attack is limited in scope so far, but there are things you can do to keep yourself safe. First, never click on update notifications coming through your web browser or text. If an app needs an update, the app itself is going to inform you of that. Second, be on the lookout for warning messages. Never install any file that's labeled as being from an untrusted source. Third, always go through official app stores. Don't trust any downloads that you get from Facebook ads or SMS messages or anything like that. Hackers are always finding new ways to steal our money and account information. But common sense is always your best defense. Go slow, think carefully, and don't download anything you weren't expecting. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time on Hacker Headlines.